The fiberglass layer is set overnight and it's time to trim the edge. I'm using a knife, I think it's called a box cutter maybe, I'm not sure. But you could easily use any type of blade. I prefer uh, this type of blade because it can be extended quite far which helps me reach some of the hard to get to areas. And uh, it's nice that it's a little wider than a normal exacto, just because it doesn't snap so easy when it bends. I'm also using the back of the brush to break off aqua resin that I've gotten onto the edge of the mold and the front of the brush to clean up some of the debris. It's a pretty straightforward process. I scrape the blade along the edge and uh, do my best to bring it down to the silicone edge or the edge of the mold. I do my best to avoid cutting into the silicone, which can be hard, but it helps to use gentle pressure on the knife and just cut a little bit at a time, not a big chunk. If you cut into the silicone, there are ways to fix it. Um, smooth on makes a silicone adhesive called Silpoxy, which you can use to glue silicone back together. Uh, but luckily, I didn't have to do this on, on this mold. When I'm done, I brush out the debris from the inside of the mold. When I flip the mold over to close it, this debris can land along the seam and impede a proper fit and make the seating not quite right. When I close the mold, I put one hand on the inside of the cast to hold it in place while I flip it over so the silicone or the cast doesn't fall out. This step is crucial and I test fitted the mold together a few times to make sure it went together well. When it didn't, I tried to locate where the fiberglass was interfering and went back and cleaned it up with the knife. A good trick to see if your mold is properly seated is to take a flashlight and shine it down the seam from the outside of the mold while you look into the mold. If you see a light shining through, something is interfering with the seam and you can locate it and fix it. Then I strap it together with bungee cords. I tried to get them pretty tight, uh, but usually I just end up using more bungees uh, instead of worrying too much about getting it super tight. Even if you have what seems like a perfect fit, uh, prepare to be disappointed. No cast I've ever made has had a perfect seam line all the way around and there always is some cleanup. And you'll see in a video or two from now that this is no different on this mold. This probably comes down to me not being the most careful mold maker in the world, I'm a little sloppy. But I've gotten very good at cleaning up seams and defects in the cast, so you know, something positive has come out of that I guess. I hope you liked what you saw, and if you did, hit the like or subscribe buttons, depending on where you see this. If you haven't already, check me out on YouTube or Facebook at Eric Arneson Art for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.